Are you trying to use a certificate to connect to an SSH server and having some problems? Don't feel bad, a lot of people do. Stick with me, I'll show you how it works. It's actually pretty easy. The first problem that most people bump into is the certificate needs to have a particular set of permissions. So for example, I've got a, a certificate right here, uh, which is just called awsdemo.pem, and if I try and use that to connect to a server, I'm going to get a complaint. So if I were to connect to this instance, I might say uh, SSH EC2 user at and then provide the IP address of the server that I'm connecting to. And I need to tell it the certificate that I want to use. So I'll use the dash I tag to import the certificate and I'll point right to that certificate file there on my disk. And when I go to connect, I get this big warning. And that's because of file permissions. The SSH client is actually expecting the certificate to only be readable by me, not by other people. And in Linux, Mac OS, Windows, these file permissions are usually much, much more wide open, and that's what's causing my problem. If I take a look at the, the permissions that are actually on this file, what we'll find is that it's usually the default permissions where the owner has read and write, everybody else just has read access, and that's what's causing my problem. And we can fix that with a quick chmod command. If I do a chmod 400, that's 400, on that file, we can reset the permissions to what SSH expects. What 400 does is it changes it so that the owner has read access and everyone else has nothing. That's what's gonna overcome that error. And if I retry my connection this time, it's gonna reach right out, connect to the server, and now I'm logged in. So getting those file permissions set right is a big part of getting a certificate to work properly with your SSH client. If you like that and you want to learn more, be sure to check out ITPro.TV. We have a whole library full of great tips and tricks, not just Linux-based like this, but any technology you can think of, Windows, Macs. We do certification-based training as well as tech skills training. A lot of good information to be found in that library. I hope to see you there.